What's going on everyone? I appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this video. In this one, I'm going to be reviewing the Junkyard Camp Bundle that recently came back around in Fallout 76. Now, this has been around in the game for quite some time. I've just missed out on it, unfortunately, every time it has came out in the Atomic Shop. So keep that in mind. If you don't see it this time around when watching this video, it doesn't mean it's not going to be back around in the Atomic Shop. You just have to wait for it to come back around. Hopefully this video helps you make a decision. And if you can't make a decision within this video over what's in this bundle, feel free to go check out someone else's review over it. I'm sure there's a few other reviews out there of this just because this isn't the only time this has been around in the Atomic Shop. So yeah, on that note, I thought this would be beneficial for some players that haven't exactly purchased this or haven't even seen this. Personally, I really wanted to get my hands on this just because of the walls that you see here. As you can see, the camp bundle will include these walls this car stash box, this Mothman cultist tripod altar, and lastly, this rainwater collector. Now keep in mind, you can purchase these individually as well that come from this camp bundle. So if you just see like one or two things that you may want out of this bundle, I highly suggest just purchasing them individually to save you some atoms. As always though, that's totally up to you if you do want to make a purchase or anything. I'm just doing a little review over them because I'm about to purchase them myself so yeah hopefully this helps out in some kind of way if you do find this kind of content enjoyable consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like that'd be greatly appreciated but yeah let me go ahead and just purchase this and get into checking out everything that comes with this bundle in game <laughs> Alrighty, so we just purchased the Junkyard Camp Bundle. Honestly, the main thing that I wanted from the Junkyard Camp Bundle was the junk fences. I'll be real with y'all. But I decided I'd purchase it just to give a full review over everything that comes in it. Just in case you may want to purchase something individually from the bundle to save you some money. Or it may make you decide that you want to purchase this bundle for yourself, or not at all. Who knows? Hopefully this does help out though in some kind of way. But yeah, the main reason why I wanted this bundle were for these junk fences. And you can purchase these individually. You don't have to technically buy the whole bundle. You can just purchase the fences and get all four variants included for 500 atoms. But like I just said before, that's totally up to you if you want to make that decision or not with spending atoms. Personally, I really, really like the way these blended with the scavenger theme I got going on here for this settlement build. Which by the way, uh, if you did miss the tour over this cranberry bulk settlement that I made, feel free to check the description below. I have a full tour over it and I have loads of information about this area too that may be beneficial to you. I also have a video touring the shelter over this cranberry bog camp too. If you want to check that out as well, that video will be linked in the description too. But yeah, as you can see, I got the uh, junk fences connected with this defense tower up here. I feel like it flowed nicely. Let me go ahead and pull them actually up in the camp category and just show you the different variants that come with this. First off, they're located in the defense category and I just passed that, whoopsies. So here are the different junk fences that you can choose from. There's four different kind that you can place. These fences go great with scavenger themed builds. As you can see, starting off with this junk fence for an example, look at the details it comes with. We got tires on it, sheets of metal, looks like also steel yard fencing on the back and barbed wire at the top. And there's also different types of wood on this fence too, such as the wooden pallet at the front and just different styles of wood boarded together to make this fence. I don't know, definitely gives off wasteland vibes, that's for sure. You gotta use with what you got to make things work. Anyways, the next fence looks like this, just thicker and a different style you can choose from. Here's the other one. This is a more simple approach. Honestly, this one was easier to work with with like tougher angles. Eh, doesn't look too bad there. Gives this area a bit more privacy. This scavenger woodcutting NPC is actually really beneficial to have around too. I get into major details about him in a video where I toured this cranberry bulk settlement. Anyways, lastly here, there's also this style too, which is a basic rusted sheet of metal for the fence. I just blocked my way off there. Of course, I'm not going to keep that there, but yeah. So we got the basic wood one and the basic looking metal one. Keep in mind though, they do not count as walls. If you're interested in making your own custom junk walls, here's a trick you can do. Add just a regular wood half and then a regular uh, metal half like this. And you got a little custom junk wall. 
but I really like these just because of the freedom we have with placing them. We don't have to technically place them on a foundation. But yeah, I'll for sure be getting used out of these because most of my build themes are scavenger-like. So yeah, now since we've covered the junk fences, which by the way, here's an outer view of them with the settlement. I feel like they really helped it out. Really made this feel more like a scavenger settlement. They blend so nicely with the defense tower too, which that is something free we get right there. That's not something we have to purchase with Adams, the defense tower. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the other things that came with this junkyard bundle. Let's get into um, something else that I think you guys may be curious about is that rainwater collector. So it doesn't take much to make. It takes two concrete, two steel, and five wood. And here's what it looks like. Overall, I really like the way that this is detailed. Love how the flowers are set up on it within the cut tire. And I also like how just overall the barrel is set up as the rain collector. It looks great and blends well with the scavenger theme I got going on. I'm actually going to keep this in my camp. But something to keep in mind about it, sure, it does look nice. However, it only holds up to two dirty water. So yeah, it does produce dirty water, but it doesn't store that much within it. So definitely keep that in mind before deciding to spend the atoms on this. I don't believe it states it in the description either that it only holds two. No, it doesn't. So yeah, that's something pretty important to keep in mind. But after all, that is the goal of these reviews, to inform you over what you're getting. Actually, you know what? Looking at this barrel, that reminds me of something that would be pretty neat to have as an atomic shop item. Or something that we could eventually get in the game, maybe in a future scoreboard or something. But this little setup here. I didn't place this stuff here, as most of you know. This was placed here in the game from the developers. I just built my camp around it, but I, don't know, I really like the way the fishnet looks over the barrels and crates and stuff. And I know there are a lot of pirate ship builds out there and a lot of people that build like fishing docks and stuff. I feel like this would definitely help make those kind of builds come to life more. Heck, adding these around in this settlement build I got going on would help make it pop more, I feel like. It could possibly even have different variants to it as well, like the junk fences. I don't know, it was just a thought. I didn't think it would hurt to briefly bring up. Anyways, getting into this next item that comes with this junkyard camp bundle is the Maltman Cultist Tripod Altar. And this is the one that stands out the most, in my opinion, out of all the other items. Just because it's related to Maltman Cultist. But when you place it, it also gives off like a raider vibe too. This isn't something that would go in the settlement that I've built here, because the theme that I'm going with don't have skulls as decorations, but this would go great for like a raider camp. It doesn't have to necessarily just go with a Mothman cultist camp theme. And by the way, you find this in the floor decor, and then just go down to the Mothman cultist theme stuff and scroll through it. And you'll eventually come across this Mothman cultist thing here. And I will mention that you also can't interact with it either. In case you may be wondering about that because I was kind of curious about that myself so yeah that's that now lastly up here I have the car stash box the uh, fusion flea car stash box as you can see you can find it in your stash category to scroll over and eventually you'll come across the stash box now here is what it looks like when you place it overall I think it's a pretty sweet looking stash box one thing is, it is a pretty big one, but so is the dumpster and whatnot. And also, it blends pretty well with a lot of wasteland style camps, such as for one example, you know, the camp that I'm currently in. And with it positioned how it is on top of concrete blocks, it gives off the vibe that someone's trying to get it up and running or something. Or it could have just been picked apart from all of its useful parts and turned into now a storage container. Heck, we could even pretend some of its tires are hanging on those junk fences. And yeah, this may be a big stash box, but it goes great with the recent update over how large our stash limit is now. Makes sense to have a bigger stash box nowadays. But seriously, overall, this isn't too bad of a thing out of the bundle. I actually like this one. And also something else that I noticed about it is that when you interact with it, the car actually seems like it's opening up. thought that was a neat little animation they added with it. Personally, to me, the best things in this bundle are, for one, this stash box here, and, of course, the junk fences. If I had to choose just to purchase one of them out of everything in this bundle, of course I would go with the junk fences. I feel like I'd be getting way more use out of the junk fences than the stash box. And there's four variations to choose from with the junk fences as well. But yeah, there's an overview over everything that comes within this junkyard camp bundle. Hopefully this helps make a decision for you in some kind of way. I'm out of here everybody. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Peace.